I'm not gonna lie, when I see comments like this, my mind immediately go to this wall. <laughs> Since you'd rather talk off the top of your head, I'm going to hit you with facts. Let's talk about 1954 when two white men were caught uh, enslaving black. Now, don't get it twisted. They weren't the only ones doing this. They were the ones that got caught. And let's talk about how. When you guys keep saying, oh, slavery was so long ago, you guys need to get over it. It's because you're in your mind, you're thinking of 1865 when this came out. But as a black person, we know very well that did not end slavery because of this. Basically, it made white folks get a little bit more trickier with how they um, enslaved blacks. But back to the story. So, two brothers by the name of Oscar Dow. Ooh, notice he was born in 1919 during the Red Summer. And his baby brother Fred. Oh my, he died in 1994. As I stated, there was trickery into keeping blacks enslaved and it was called debt peonage. And we know that whites at that time were making up debt and blacks really didn't have a leg to stand on in the legal system. So they had to accept it as for what it was and stay enslaved on these plantations. It's no secret to the law. But let's get back to Fred and Oscar. So Fred and Oscar came up with this brilliant plan, like Pinky and the Brain. They decided to go around to jails and find blacks that had been jailed for minor offenses. You literally could get jailed for talking too loud next to a white woman. But the problem was you didn't have any money to get out of jail. So here come Oscar and Fred to pay your little fine, but you had to come back to the plantation and work for him. And the day they picked up Henry Monk Williams and a couple other blacks, they took him back to the plantation. They worked for several months and Henry was like, uh-uh, I'm done paying my debt, I'm finna go. So he hauled ass up off that plantation only for them to go and get him, bring him back. And he had the, the guys that were enslaved on his plantation beat this man within inches of death. I mean that day because he ended up dying. So because he had a dead black man, he went ahead and shipped the body on to a funeral home. Well, the funeral home had questions. So they dialed 911. And the feds came and raided the plantation. This is a new picture of the feds, but you get the point though, right? Lo and behold, a plantation full of enslaved black people in 1954. Hmm, how did this happen? So Justice Johnson, who was the U.S. state attorney at that time, decided, no, these white folks are about to get prosecuted because the law is the law and you're not above it. Especially in 1954, how y'all had slaves still? Keep in mind, Jim Crow had a stronghold over the South. So when they called a witness, a character witness to testify on behalf of the Dow brothers, he said this. He thought it was okay. And this ended up being the first conviction against peonage in the South by a Republican who later went on to do great things like sign off on the March for Selma. Ain't that Bernie? So they were just the ones that got caught. And fun fact, some of us Gen X kids' parents were born in the 50s. 